not ready. And it's gonna be more dangerous out there because you fired Greg. Because we don't have any money to pay him, Bert. You're doing this, not me. The hell I am. Do you not understand what I had to do to get these kids out here? The bond that I had to put up for the insurance company, you wanna lose all that? Rather than risk hurting one of the kids? Yeah. Why? Never bothered you before. Okay, Bert, stop, I'm sorry, that was low. But look, you're the reason that we're in this mess. I need you to remember that. How long are you gonna hold that over my head? Until I can buy you out? Look, just, we'll take Roth as a guide, it's fine. What? No, no, bad idea. He's the same age as these kids. That is a bad idea. Stop it! It's the only idea. Listen to me, you know we've helped a ton of kids out here. They need us, so we'll just bring Roth on this one trip and then I can work all this other stuff out, all right? Please, I could use a little growing up anyway. Hello? Is it safe to come out? Hey, yeah, can you uh, double check these bags for me? Everything okay? Great. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, we'll be ready. Thanks, bye. Where the hell is he? It's only 45 minutes to the cave and back. Relax, he's a kid. He'll be here. You sure it's a good idea to take him? Summer, he'll be fine. There's no other option. Finally. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. Sorry. I know I was gone longer than you said, but tell yeah, me you saw fine, that. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Was... Listen to me, we need you to be a guide on this trip with us, okay? What? I'm the same age as these idiots. You know how they are, they don't, they don't listen to me. We're short-staffed, you're coming. Uncle Bert, come We're in a pinch here, Rob. It's only seven days. Now gear up. Yes, sir. I really don't believe this. So I know you don't mind helping your uncle, and the hike's a piece of cake for you, so what's up? I don't know, Aunt Summer. I... I'm not trying to be difficult for you or for Bert. It's just the kids who come here. They treat me like I'm some kind of outcast and I don't belong That's with them. That's why they need somebody like you, to show them how normal kids behave. Besides, you don't want Bert out there alone with Claire. He might just kill her. <laughs> like it's just a week. You can do this, I know you can. I love you. I love you too. All right, I'm gonna head back to the house. Be safe. You too. Showtime. Great. Step out, ladies and gentlemen. Say goodbye to civilization, and hello to second chance. Where the hell are we? Oh. Can we go inside at Burn Easily? Oh, aren't you lucky we have a hat and sunblock for you? Follow me, please. Let's go. Let's move. Welcome, everybody. Dr. Claire Taylor, owner and director of Second Chance. Behind you is Mr. Goodman our wilderness expert and trail guide. Behind him is Mr. Young, assistant trail guide. Come on, keep up. All right, first things first, if you're changing into the standard issue. Oh, hell no. I can't wear Come on, Doc. Make sure you have a pair of pants, boots, socks.
Trapper Andrews. The hell kind of a name is Trapper? I suggest you pick up your stuff, or you're not gonna have any stuff. Should thing, Pops. I also suggest that you don't call me Pops. Sure. Pops. Oh, work, 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 work. Let him up, work. A little respect, Mr. Andrews. She will always be around here to stop me. Hey. Hey, I know you. Yeah, you're the crusher. You're the Mad Dog Crusher. Who's the Mad Dog Crusher? Just one of the greatest cage fighters ever. I heard he killed some guy in the ring. No one ever knew where he went. Get them ready, Claire. Now you know. Cool. Everybody take your stuff and meet over there. Move. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Hey, Claire. The office has informed me that I can't make your supply drop on Wednesday unless you bring your account up to date. Uh, you can't uh, give me till Monday? How you know that's not my decision? Yeah, I know. We're just, we're having some cash flow issues, but we'll be back in the black after this group. You know, we're doing a lot of good with these kids out here, Tom. Yeah, I know. Please, listen. Come next Monday, I promise you, I will hand you everything I owe you in cash, all right? You have my word. All right, all right. Thank you. Here's your mail. Great. Claire, who's this? Thanks. Stay polite. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. I Can didn't you go? No, that you that you were. Can you uh, just I'm... please leave? Yes. Uh, yeah. Just. Yeah. Just yes. Get out. Good start. Curve. <sighs> this is bullshit. Two goons came into the club and dragged me out. They didn't even give me a chance to pack. I was asleep. They barely let me get dressed. There's no way this is legal. Okay, tell it to your parents. Where's Ramirez? Ramirez! Coming! God, what is it, a crime to take a crap around here? Come on, come on, come on. All right, everybody, listen up. Okay? I'm sure you want an explanation of what you're doing here. Yes? This place is called Second Chance for a reason. It's ain't Disneyland. This place is harsh. Nobody's here to save you, any of that. We're here to break you down and try to change you, all right? The rules are very simple. You eat what we give you, sleep where we put you, do what we tell you. This will be your toilet. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yes. Um, well, then I'm definitely dragging that outhouse with me because I'm not doing my business in the dirt. Interesting. I heard you do it anyway. All oh, my right. God, are you kidding me? Oh, what? I'm not going to take that from you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You have no right to touch All right. me. Woo! If you touch her, she can sue right. you. Enough! Now, let me make one thing very clear. I'm not going to tolerate an ounce of disrespect. I'm here to try to make you people productive human beings. And if I have to make your life freaking miserable to do it, I will. And you're not going to sue anybody, Mr. Richards. <laughs> Richards? I'll just call you Dick. That's enough, Mr. Andrews. That's enough. We are going to deal with your issues with school, with your parents, with drugs, and with the law. One way or another, this place is going to change your life forever. This sucks. <laughs> Get used to it, pal, because it's just the beginning. All right.
So, if any of you have anything on you, please place it in here now, because we will find it. Trust me, Bert has a nose like a bloodhound. As a reminder, this is a wilderness camp, so no phones, iPads, drugs, anything that we don't give you, you should not have on you. All right, come on. Go right ahead. I got a lot of things in a lot of places. Okay, hey, 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 oh, geez, handsy much. What else you got, huh? Uh, oh. No. Oregano. Really? It's oregano. I am, I am a chef. You no. got it all, you got it all. You, no, 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 come on, oh, come on. All? Whoa, whoa, you cannot. This is no use. Not out here. Off to a very good start. No more contact with anybody, got get it? it? Yep. Really? Nothing in your pockets? What else you got, kid, huh? Tough guy? It's gonna be a real great adventure here with you. Next. All right, everybody, make sure you have all your gear. Come on, gear up. What's the shotgun for? In case something needs to be shot. Oh, hey, here. Let me help with that. There you go. See? Shut down. Look at the camp, bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey! Let's go. Move. Come on, Mr. Richards. Off you go. You all right? All right. Keep your eye on that one. Let's go. Hey, Trapper, move it. Come on. All right, so the first camp's 15 miles out. 15? You expect me to walk 15 miles? You can crawl. your own tent and keep a journal. If you're thinking of running, there's a hundred miles of nothing in every direction. So if you plan on running, you plan on dying. I'm on a plan B. Stop looking at me. What? I said, stop looking at me. Um, look, you're in front of me. Well, pass me. Huh? What are you, some kind of weirdo? You're like giving me the creeps. Just please, walk in front of me. Whatever. Oh, hey, stop looking at me. <sighs> hey, look. That's something you don't see in Beverly Hills. There's a lot of them out here. Ah! Ah! I don't even want to know what you're doing in there. You feel that? No, I don't want to feel that. No. Wait, you feel that shaking? What is that? Better stampede. Stampede! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
one. Step down. Let's go. Let's Take go. her off. Just want to make it careful. Oh. Careful, careful, careful. Hey, Bert. Everybody okay? Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah. We're not okay. We were nearly killed. Okay. What kind of shit was, was that? Is this, this is your idea of breaking us down? It was a freak thing. Okay, everybody's fine. We're not right? fine. Look at this place. Oh, oh my God. Look, I know you're scared. I'm not okay. scared. All right, listen, okay? We're out in the wild, and unpredictable stuff happens. Somebody is going to get sued. Change your pants, Mr. Richards. All right, everybody gather their stuff. You okay? Let's salvage that tent there. Thanks. That bone's fried. What was that? Three miles south of hell? The desert, moron. Thank you, Trapper. Your insight is amazing. Goosh. Okay, no more talking. Trapper, slow it down. I want you to try to be aware of everything around you, okay? Just be in this moment. Hot. That's what I'm aware of right now. Okay, what else? Be aware of your surroundings, everybody. Hey, so why'd you leave? Friday, why'd you leave? I mean, I know you hurt the guy, but... I didn't hurt someone. I killed him. But you're the best, man. More famous for killing somebody than being the best fighter. No, I just want to be a good person. <laughs> hey, Claire. Yeah. Whoa, check this out. Hey, hey, Lewis. Lewis, all right, stay with the group. It's like a giant geode. This is not a geode. Yeah, then what would you call it? It's probably like a top secret government experiment, a satellite, a bomb casing, something sketchy like that. Really? A bomb casing? This does not look like a bomb casing. How would you know? No, because it looks like a giant geode. That's how I know. Maybe it's from outer space, like aliens. Oh, who cares? Let's just keep walking. Hey, Claire. Yeah. You got to see this. What? I think that's Lenny's truck. What? It's a cell phone. <laughs> oh, look, the aliens left their cell phone. Yeah? <laughs> He was just at our place the other night. What the hell happened? Looks like he skidded off or something. <gasps> yeah, grab the sat phone. We gotta call this in. It's trampled. Dead. We're gonna have to go back. What? Bro, 
can't go back. We're two days away from base camp and we've got five scared, really messed up kids up there. Oh my God. Something's off here. Uncle Bert! Claire! We can't afford to go back. Look, he's, he got drunk and he drove off the ravine. Let's go. Uncle Bert! I don't think that's the way it happened. We don't know what happened. Could have been a coyote or a mountain lion or yeah, something. Yeah, and it could have been a vampire too, but that's not reality. Look, we have no communication. We're understaffed. I understand. We got a dead guy out in the middle of nowhere. We're going back. You do and you go to jail, Bert. What are you talking about? There's a lawsuit, Bert. You hurt that boy. You lost control and you hurt him. He lost control. He, he freaked out. I, I just tried to restrain him. Are you sure? Come on, Claire. You saw it. Everybody saw it. Everybody saw a big man teach a boy a lesson. We go back now, we lose everything. What's going on in your head? You know, I'm doing this for us. For Summer and for Roth, okay? Look, Lenny's gone. There's nothing we can do about that now. We'll call it in when we get back to base. Uncle Bert! Claire! Kids can't know about this. I'm coming! Hey. Wait up. Hey, Claire. Yeah. You gotta see this. Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Hey, you need to look at the lens. Okay. Gene. Here, Lewis, put these rocks around the perimeter, okay? Yeah. Yeah. No, Wes, not like that. It has to go in the fork. I want to yeah. go home. Yeah, that makes two of us. Come on. Wes, Wes. Right. Yeah, just like that. Lift it up. Good. Yeah. Here you go. Wes, it has to go in the middle of the fork there. Right. Uncle Bert? Hey, Uncle Bert? Oh. I want to go home now. Okay. Wes. I can't stand this place. Wes, Everybody calm down. Hey, hurt Wes, come here. Stop. Calm down. Breathe. Breathe. Huh? You want to go home to what? Sitting on the couch smoking weed? At least I get to do what I want. How's that working out for you? You seem miserable. He just seems like an idiot to me. What the hey, hell hey, is hey, that? Hey, 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 When you want to go home because you and your stepmom get along so well? If everybody's lives at home are so great, what do you think you're doing here? Everybody's angry because what? Their parents don't understand them. I got news for you, a lot of parents don't understand their kids. And they don't try to burn down their house, trapper. Or get arrested for attention, Mika. Or blow things up and hack into the NSA, hmm? It's easier. What's easier? It's easier for them to just ship us out here than to admit that they're bad parents. <sighs> okay, girls, help me get the bags into the tent before it rains. Hey. Hey. I found Lenny's phone by that thing in the trench. Hey, Bert, can you go help the boys with the lean-to, please? Did you hear what he said? Can you help the... Well, I gotta take a dump. Oh, Rose. Thanks, Mr. TMI. Wait, hold on. Don't go alone. Go with him. Oh, come on. Go with him. Like hell. Trapper, stop. Trapper, slow down. I don't need help from the camp bitch. Come on, dude. Oh. Ross, 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 Ross. <laughs> stop, stop. Just leave him, stop. Falling down because you don't have a rope. Wes, grab the rope. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's Trapper? Go into the bathroom. What? Alone? What are you doing? I told you to go with him. That asshole didn't want my company. Bert, it's just Stop let him go. Acting like an old woman. He's around the corner. You okay?
Trapper. Gee. Hey, look, I don't want you out here alone. Oh, geez, what are you gonna do? Watch? Perv? Stop! Trapper! Stop! Get away hey, from me! Look, just think right there! Stop! You look at my junk, I'm calling the cops. Not interested in seeing your junk. Well, they can't see it anyway. Dick. I wish you had one. So sorry. from here we stock it with supplies in case of emergencies we'll go there tonight to regroup tomorrow we'll go back to base camp Jeez. Jeez. go now go Trapper, what happened back there? Trapper! We're all gonna die. We're not gonna die. Sorry about your uncle. We should keep moving.
Okay, everybody. There's food and water in these packs. Hey, pass those around. Hello? Anybody out there copy? Lenny, you copy? It's middle of the night, Roth. Nobody's gonna answer. I was still bleeding. You're gonna be fine. I will not be fine. I am bleeding. Hey. It's three in the morning. And we're in a cave. In the middle of nowhere. Well, something outside is trying to kill us. Here. Anybody on this radio copy? Lenny, it's Roth. You copy. Is there anybody out? It's no use. I don't think this is the experience my dad thought I was gonna have at this camp. Oh, God. Ew, what is that? It's sticky. Oh, gross. It's slimy. Look, it's everywhere. Hey, Roth, I got a lot of static here. Static. A lot of static. I swear I turned this radio off. Oh, God, it's here. It's here, Claire. We gotta get him out. Get up, get up. We just Everybody got him. Come on, 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 Can't kill it. Where's where's Dick? Where's Wes? Oh shit! You left him? Oh no! We don't have time for this. Everybody up. We oh, have to move. No. We gotta get out of here. We gotta move fast. Let's go. Let's go, everybody up! Come on! Go 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 go! You know you did everything you could. This is not your fault. Let's go. Oh, come on! Hello? Hello, is anybody out there? You Please? give it up already. There's nothing and no one out here in this hellhole but us. It's gotta be some type of energy. Like core magnetism. Maybe it's got a magnetic field no, around it. No, 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 no. If it was magnet, the metal would be pulled towards it. Okay, so what's your best explanation? Static electricity. Static electricity? I mean, with all that metal, it must be sending up a charge and stimulating the receivers. And it gives off a radio frequency that interferes with the reception. Well, combine those two things, and it's kind of like this perfect storm of radio interference. I'll buy that theory. This has to be where that creature came from. Wes was right. It was an alien ship. Why would an alien come here? Why, why would anyone? 
Come. Maybe it's not supposed to be here, okay? Maybe it just veered off course. No, it seems to me like it's here on purpose. No, maybe it came here as a seed, you know, like the one who made first contact. No, this is an egg. That's what West stepped on in the cave. The egg sack. It looks like our alien could be a she. You guys are all crazy. Who cares? I just want to get the hell out of here. We need to keep going the trails this way. Really? Yes. Yeah. It's not like we're here trying to figure anything because out. Because I don't trying care. Because I don't care. Why would we... What the hell? Roth! Wait! Roth, hold on! Come. Roth! found him. You and Uncle Bert found Lenny like this and you didn't say anything? We didn't know anything. We... You knew he was dead, didn't you? Yeah, but I... We didn't... Which is why you knew he wouldn't be on the radio, right? You and Bert... You led us right to that thing. No, Roth! We had no idea what was out there. We thought it was an animal. It doesn't matter, an animal. matter what you thought. It doesn't matter what you thought. What matters is that you saw this. You and Bert saw this and you and Bert decided to push forward, yeah? Yeah, and you know, you know we should have turned back. Oh, I can't believe Bert didn't go back. Bert wanted to turn back, Roth, and I kept going. I was thinking about the kids, I was... The kids? Oh, yeah. Do we have enough parts to make it work? No. Let's get some water. Oh. Yeah. There's no service. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That'll help. Stop, shitbag! Hey, Roth. Come with me.
I'm really sorry, Roth. What time does he come tomorrow? The chopper comes at 8 a.m. All right, everybody get some water. Go to the bathroom, then go to the cabin. We'll be safe until morning. Oh, I just love civilization. Too bad this ain't it. You think you're hot shit, don't you? But without that gun, you're nothing. It's a good thing I got the gun then. Him. Yeah. You okay? Okay. Not really. But I feel safer around you. Hey! Doesn't this mean something? It's here. Roth. Everybody up! Everybody in the cabin! Now it's here! Holy Holy Who is it? the door and be ready. Unlock the door. No way. No way. Chopper, let me. Chopper, He's hey, stupid. You cannot leave him out there. Why not? Open the door. No, 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 no.
She'd still be alive if it wasn't for you. She's the reason why we're all gonna die. It's all about you, isn't it, Trevor? Everything is always about you. Yeah, it's about me. Yeah. It's always about me. Survival of the fittest, baby. I would rather have my head blown off than suck dry by that thing up. Do it! Shoot me. I know you want to. It's what you all want, isn't it? Isn't it? now we wait for the chopper that thing's still up yeah well you're free to go okay nothing's stopping you lewis yeah is that thing still out there coast is clear okay everybody get some rest we'll stay in here tonight in the morning we'll get on the chopper I'll take the first guard How old were you? When your parents died, how old were you? I was 12. It was a car accident. Seems like a lifetime ago. And then Bert? Bert. Bert was my uncle. He and Summer took me in, practically raised me. I'm so sorry. Man. You know, it's ironic. Before, before I came here, I wanted to kill myself. And now, I really don't want to die. We're running for our lives. I, uh, I should show you this. It's an old shotgun. It's pretty easy to use. No. I don't want to learn how to use that thing, okay? I, I don't think I could kill anything. You need to learn in case something happens to me. Ron, hey, don't, don't. Will you change the music, please? No. Okay. Damn, you're good at this. I do what I can. Hey. Whoa. 
Not suit me. Maybe not. But I think I'm making a pretty good point. That's the chopper. That thing is still out there. Not right now. Static free. Unlike my parents. <laughs> Don't worry, Chopper. We'll go out there and make sure the coast is clear while you stay in here and pee your pants. Shut up. All right, everybody. Ready up. Hey, whoa, whoa. You sure there's no static? We're good. We're all clear. Let's go. Tom. Tom. Where's Claire? Where's Bert? I'll tell you on the way. We don't have any time. We gotta get out of here. Wait, wait. We wait. gotta get out of here. Just to answer my question. Where's Claire and Bert? They're dead. What? We were attacked. Attacked by what? I'll tell you on the way, Tom. Not until I know what the hell's going on. I told you. We were attacked. We have to get out of here. Tom, Big stop. Go. You gotta Fly, listen to me, man. man. Hey, we, need to go. we don't have time for this. We gotta get off the ground right now. Tom, please. You gotta listen. Tom, no, 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 no. Stop. Claire? What happened? Look, we didn't kill her, okay? We didn't kill her. I'll explain everything on the way, but right now, we gotta go, Tom. Now. All right. Everybody in. We got to unload first. What? It won't fly with all of you and the supplies. All right. Everybody grab some boxes. I got a shotgun. Home. <laughs> we need to address the shoving problem we have. Shut up. Take us home, Mr. Pilot. Let's go home. What's going on? We're heavy. Tom, what the hell was that? Well, what is happening? What's going on? You guys, it's here. It's here again. Take us down, Tom. Take us down now. <laughs> can't stay here. Can you walk? Trapper, can you walk? Yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna go to Summer's house. Are you okay? Yeah. Let's go. Follow me. Come on. I gotta rest, man. My, my leg's killing me. Ugh. I think I broke my ankle. Okay, you know what? Trevor, we're all hurt, okay? Just keep moving. Hey. You know the thing about broken ankles, right? You can't walk on them. And it's sprained and swollen, man. We gotta stop. Stop complaining, Trevor. Let's go. Shut up, bitch. Hey. Keep up. Who died and left you, God? I said, keep up. Or don't. made me God? Everyone died and made me God. Now you want to stay here and die? I don't care. Nobody cares. Hey, 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 hey. Not worth it. And Summer. What happened to you? To all of you? Where's Bert and Claire? Bert's dead. We need your help. Please. Here you go. I'm, I baked some cookies. Have a cookie and some water. No. You need to eat. Not I'll cookies. Up no, eggs. no eggs. Really You're not quick. listening. You're not listening. Please. And Summer, listen to me. There is some, some thing out there, okay? I'm trying to tell you it attacked us, okay? Some kind of creature. It's an alien. It's real. Okay, we're not lying. We all saw it. Now this thing, it killed two kids. It killed Claire. And it killed Uncle Bert. Now what I'm saying is we can't stay here. We have to get whatever supplies we can. And we have to get someplace safe. How did he die? Fighting. That sounds about right. I need, I need to call the sheriff. Okay, call the sheriff. The truck. Where are the keys to your truck? They're in it. They're in it? They're in the truck. Okay. Water, food, Back. whatever we can collect. Yeah. Whatever we can. Yeah. Mark, Fill this up. Only this. We gotta take it with us. We have to hustle. I don't know if that's so yeah, Claire right. Taylor's. I, at Claire Taylor's place, I, I, can't, I can't hear you. I'm gonna have to call back. I, I must have a bad line. There's so much no, 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 static. No, no, I can't no. even hear. It's here. Where's Trapper? Where's Trapper? The truck! No, no, truck! No, truck!
Shotguns? Yeah, inside, come on. Where's Courtney? Where's Courtney? She's gone. It took her. Fuck her. Chris, you'd wait for the sheriff. I know, I know, but we can't wait for the sheriff, okay? I mean, she could be dead before they get here. She could be dead already. All right, here you go. Wait, wait. I made you some armor. Armor? Yeah, to go underneath the vest. Found in the barn. <laughs> like that. Just like that. <laughs> Hopefully you don't need it. That's brilliant. some pipe bombs here. Just in case you need to buy or sell some time, or you need to blow some up. Now they got about a 20 second fuse. Give or take a few seconds. But just make sure that you're far away when these things go off, okay? Give or take. Give or take. I knew I liked you, Lewis. You guys gotta be ready for a fight. Whether I make it back with Courtney or not, that thing is gonna be back. We'll be ready. <laughs> Now what? Get you out of here. I'm gonna get you out of here. If I get this thing on you, can you run? Damn it, we gotta get 
Once you fill all these tanks, all you have to do is throw that lever, and they will run like hell. Got it. There they are. Oh, you did it. Thank God. Is this gonna work? About to find out. Sir. Come here, help me out with her. I got her. Easy, easy. Okay, I Take got her. Take her inside, get her cleaned up, okay? You're okay now, you're okay. Sure. Are you ready? We're close. Okay. So what I figured is that if this thing has all this static electricity in it, then why not send a positive current to its negative pole magnetic whoa, whoa, field? Whoa, 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 English, please, Lewis, come on. We're gonna roast it. Okay, so this yeah. contraption, what is this? These wires are charged with 20,000 volts. So when it hits, it fries. Exactly. Wow. But you got to the switch first. Okay, so then what's all the gas for? That is our backup plan. If the shock doesn't work, then hopefully these drums rigged as gasoline cannons will. Okay. There is a drawback, though. What? You gotta be the bait. All you gotta do is lure into the wires. Oh, that, that's all. Well, easy. And try not to get yourself blown up or electrocuted. Then you're golden. Oh, and when you get a moment, can you fill the rest of the gas tanks for me? Thanks, man. What in God's name could even do this? I am so sorry, honey. You should have never, ever had to go through this. She's feeding on us. She's feeding on us, and she's not gonna stop until we are all dead. Summer, be ready 
to throw the switch. Lewis. 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 <laughs> oh, hey guys. Let's not do that again, okay? Yeah. We did it. Yeah. We did it. Oh. <sighs>